Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Today it's Thursday and I'm not really happy. I'm not really happy because there are some attacks. I can already guarantee you. So we'll go to the Italian and international papers to see how they are attacking our beloved Juventus. Before going into the hot topics and to read all the attacks that are thrown to Juventus, I want to start with some rush news. Rush news because yesterday Morata, Morata, he said his first words for Juventus. It was quite nice because you really see that the guy is happy. He's happy as never. And he said, for example, when you feel at home somewhere, you really want to come back. He also said that he feels that he's another player, a better player than when he was young at Juventus in the two seasons that he plays for us he said that he became better and we can't wait to see that on the field then we have a beautiful picture from around Turin Maurizio that is showing us actually the possible attack lineup with Dybala, Morata and Cristiano Ronaldo here you see them at the medicals from Juventus really nice picture all smiling really happy it's not over because yesterday a good news and we speak about our front three Dybala he made all the training with Juventus that's a good news because yesterday we were Wednesday that means that he have a lot of days to be maybe on the bench and maybe even a starter uh, versus Roma maybe it's too early to be a, a starter but let's see what happened anyway the good news is that he did a full training with the team Morata instead he had to train individually why because of the coronavirus he doesn't have coronavirus but as always when you come from another country you need that moment of quarantine so he trained alone I don't know how long that will last let's see if he will be able to integrate the full team because if yes then he will be there uh, verse, for the game versus Roma I wanted to speak also about about rejuvenation you remember we talked about it the fact that Juventus had a project to make and enter new young players at the moment we have 10 players that are really really young in the team so the project is working and it's not over because I'm sure I don't know if the, in the following days but I'm sure we will continue on that way and now we go to the front pages with tutto sport la Juve non Centra, Juventus doesn't have nothing to do with the case Luis Suarez. Those are the words from the uh, lawyer, the lawyer Maria Turco. She's saying uh, Juventus never asked any favor for that story about the uh, B1 Italian exam. And then we will go, We will. it's not over, eh? we will continue about that story. And then Bienvenido a casa, they are speaking about Morata. Uh, Bienvenido is in Spanish for welcome welcome at home and they show a lot of pictures on the left side from the great hug between President Agnelli and Alvaro Morata it was like a son coming at home welcomed by his dad really emotional pictures and was really nice to see what are they writing l'abbraccio di Andrea Agnelli e Morata che già sogna un gol domenica alla Roma the hug between Agnelli and Morata that is already dreaming a goal versus Roma on Sunday he says it would be really beautiful to score where I scored my last goal at Juventus and then I go back to the title La Juve non centra because we clearly see the words chosen by Tutto Sport they are saying Juventus doesn't have nothing to do with all that story but Gazzetta dello Sport they are seeing it totally different okay and now I put again my angry face on because I'm not happy okay I already because I'm a long time supporter I lived the manipulation of the papers and especially Gazzetta dello Sport where they did everything to send us in Serie B they are started again they are starting again why because they are writing inchiesta Suarez spunta paratici the Suarez uh indication uh, you know the uh, the story of uh, parat uh, suarez i'm sorry spunta paratici paratici shows up okay in the small letters you see the sportive director of juventus was 
uh, spoke about in the interception of the telephonic interception from the people that were working in the university. Okay, they are writing, they are putting it in yellow so that you cannot miss it with black title uh, Inquiesta Suarez and then in red Spunta Paratici, red so that you cannot miss it. Okay. Can you read something else on that front paper about that? No. So all the people that are stopping at the title, they say, oh my God, what did Paratici do? And this is not okay. Why? Because if you go to Corriere, de, Corriere della Sera, they are saying the same thing uh, that looks like Paratici. And I'm reading la richiesta di risolvere il problema dell'esame de italiano del calciatore sarebbe arrivata direttamente dal direttore sportivo da Juventus. Fabio Paratici, they are saying the, 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 the request to solve and to make sure that Luis Suarez passed his exam, he succeeded his exam, it came immediately from Fabio Paratici, okay, those are Corriere della Sera and Gazzetta dello Sport saying it's Paratici that orchestrated all of this, Corriere dello Sport, They are going on the left, caso Suarez ora si indaga per corruzione. Suarez case, now we are uh, investigating about corruption, okay? And then you go inside uh, Gazzetta dello Sport on the sixth page. And this is a problem because what are they saying? They are speaking about in the interception, the telephonic interception, uh, the name of Paratici was said, but in a generic way. From the people of the uh, from the uh, university. So, guys, when you read the title where they are putting accusation to Fabio Paratici to Juventus, and then you go inside and you read, you see a total different story. And this is not acceptable. I'm sorry if today I'm really angry, but I saw what he did in 2006, manipulating the big titles, the mass, the anti-Juve community, so that everyone is agreeing and accusing Juventus. This is not okay. So people don't stop at titles, don't stop at clickbait things, because this is manipulation of the mass. It's not okay, because when you read inside, you clearly see that this is not the truth and then we go to the next one guys we go uh because on online also uh, you clearly see they are doing the same manipulation suarez el esame farsa blah 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 they are saying the same big titles accusing paratici you read the small letters and you see that it's totally a di uh, different story mundo deportivo meanwhile they are saying that uh, uh suarez is now at atletico madrid and i want to come back and finish about that story today because i went back and i found on internet the ranking of the sold papers of the Italian papers from June 2020. And you clearly see that the biggest drop is Gazzetta dello Sport with a minus 62%. In 2019, in June, they sold 142,000 copies, papers, hard papers. And in June 2020, they sold 53,000. That's minus 62% percent that's a lot and i understand why because if you have to sell those kinds of information this is not okay and now we calm down and we speak about the two next things we have to say about juventus a bit better storari storari marco the ex goalkeeper of juventus he's back at juve officially he was already around uh, juventus And now we see that it uh, has been officialized as the new professional talent development of the black and white. So that means that he will take care uh, of the careers actually to make sure that the young talents will grow and become professionals. And then the last news of today is that uh, Juventus and Barcelona are in talks to an exchange Dembele and Douglas Costa. Uh, in the same style as Arthur and Pjanic. For sure, the first priority of both clubs is to sell the player. That's why Juventus is, for example, talking with Manchester United and Wolverhampton so that they cash in a lot. If it will not work, they can maybe do a kind of uh, loan, a one-year loan between the ex, uh, the two players. Well, Dembele at Juve that can gain again his form because last year he didn't play a lot. He scored only one goal and maybe Douglas Costa alone to Barcelona to play with Pjanic. 
manage. So we will have to follow that up. But one thing is clear, Douglas Costa is not in uh, Juventus and Pirlo's project and mind. This was it for me. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I was really angry, but I'm not happy because I'm covering the papers every day and I know when I see what they are doing. So please, if you are as angry as me, please put a maximum of like of on this video. Please subscribe if you didn't yet. And as always, Forza Juve, I will stay here. I will defend Juve. I will say and I will, I will tell you what they are doing. This is not okay. Forza Juve.